Hello everyone. Hey y'all. Welcome to What's Going Well yep, with yep, yep. Tracy. You already know the deal, yo. And then your boy Sean here. The originals. What is it? Um So today is Monday, July 20th, 2020. Yeah, and Mr. Date Changer hasn't changed the date. Since goodness knows when, because I changed the date on Saturday, so July 18th, but whatever. So, what's going well for you today, Sean? As you guys can see, pancakes. We have made vegan pancakes with raspberry. Well, we didn't make it with raspberry, but we put raspberry and blueberry on top and made our own little syrup. Brown sugar syrup. Mm. It was a lot of sugar. It was a lot of sugar. But we only use a little bit of syrup, and it'll last us for a long time. So, um, what's going well for me today is I'm just really excited that Sean decided to take this vegan journey with me. And, you know, I'm so surprised about it because he is probably the pickiest one of my kids, I think. Oh, yeah. He's the pickiest eater. Definitely. Yeah, he's the pickiest eater, so I'm very surprised. So, he's really been, I mean, and all the kids have been... You know, trying new things is just something that I've always made. Like, there's no negotiation. If you've never tried it, then you got to try it before you say you don't like it. I don't care what it looks like. You got to try it. You got to taste it before you decide, oh, I don't like that. So, um, he's been definitely trying some new things. Last night we had, um, what was it? The, the vegetable, oh. vegetable. Well, it was supposed to be like chicken and biscuits. Oh, you're talking about that one, yeah. Yeah. But we didn't make the biscuits. Cause... We didn't make the biscuits because it was late and yeah. nobody got time to be rolling flour out on it. Oh, no, nah, didn't have time oh, for that. Oh. So we did some toast with some butter with it and it was good. It was really good. You. It was really good with, with like both of them together. Those were, that was like really good. Yep. So that's what's going well for me today. I'm proud of my son. Because I feel like um, that's just a really big step. Really, really big step. Very surprised, but uh, it's a happy surprise. So, very proud of you. Yeah, thank you. You're trying new things. trying Because you definitely got to try new things if you decide you're going to be vegan. So, yeah. um, definitely, definitely proud of this little guy right here. Um, so, that's what's going well for us today on this Monday. Let Comment us... if you would ever try going vegan and go on, you know, the journey with us. Yeah, that would be cool. And remember, we do have a YouTube channel, so the link is in our bio. So check out our videos. Um, we just did another weekly taste last night, um, and it's Have posted on YouTube. Ice cream. Yeah, we did because yesterday was National Ice Cream Day. Oh yeah, today is also National Lollipop Day. Oh. So um, for me, the lollipops I like are anything sour. Like a blue, sour blue raspberry, um, a green apple, something that tastes like a Jolly Rancher green apple. That's that's my thing. What about you? What's your favorite lollipop? Anything. I really don't really prefer anything. But if I am preferring something, then it would be like, you know, blue blueberry stuff like that. It's not, I'm not really into sour stuff. But I mean, I'll eat it if it's there. I love sour stuff. And um, today is also Mental Wellness Day number 20. And for today, the challenge is just to, you know, recognize within yourself the the stress triggers, the things that, that trigger stress. And when, I'm sorry, stress indicators. So when it comes to things that are going to stress you out, you need to be able to realize what those things are and implement some self-care to prevent yourself from getting overwhelmed so for me my stress indicators are just feeling very very fatigued and being very irritable like for no reason at all so those are two of my indicators that i've learned and so when that happens you know for me i just need to i know that i need to take a step back and i need to rest and just kind of chill out you know reset before i start dealing with anything else do you think you know what your stress indicators are there are things that um happen to you you know whether it's physically or like your emotions you get super irritated or stuff like that when you get stressed out about something or when you know something's just weighing really heavily on your mind yeah um it's like whenever i don't even know why it's not even whenever i'm getting in trouble it's just 
sometimes whenever I'm having long talks with people, it just, like, I just start crying. I don't even know. I, don't I think even that's know a why. stress indicator. I think probably because you have a lot of emotions that you just need to put into words. You know, whether it be that you talk it out with somebody or you write it down in a journal or something like that. Because a lot of us have a lot of things that we just don't know how to put into words or we don't know how to say it to someone else. We just know that this is how we're feeling and a lot of times we don't know why we're feeling you know, the way we're feeling. So, you know, with stress, stress is a very crazy thing. And, um, you know, so it's just important, especially now in this time with the pandemic going on and then all the racial tension that's going on, it's very important to recognize our stress indicators so that we can take care of ourselves and, you know, be there for, be there for ourselves. And, you know, just know that you always have my support, no matter what, when it comes to whatever, you know, that's, that's what we're here for. For me, that's what family means and that's what I want for you and your sisters to know that I'm always here. You know, just if you just want to talk, if you just want to vent, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to talk to me. <laughs> All right, y'all. So um, what are some of your stress indicators? And when you notice those stress indicators, what do you do to help, you know, kind of dial it back a little bit? Comment and let us know and we will see you Tell my bro why Sean is yawning and want to make me yawn. <laughs> see you so tomorrow. So rude. So rude. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.